it's Ellie. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I am back from my break and doing builds again, but actually I built this one while I was recovering from surgery. So that's why uh, it looks really weird right now. Like the menu is huge and uh, the screen resolution I think was at like 720 because I was using my PC on the living room TV, which is like a 50 inch flat screen. So it was really hard to see the tiny menu. So I had to change the resolution to make everything bigger and easier for me to see from uh, further away than I usually sit from a monitor. So yeah, what I did was I built a greenhouse because the laundry day stuff pack came out while I was recovering, of course, so I didn't get to make a really cool build with it right away, but I did build a greenhouse because I felt like everybody was doing laundry rooms and houses, obviously, because that makes the most sense. But uh, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different and I thought that it would work really well in like a greenhouse setting. There was tons of plants and all these little rustic feeling things so I kind of just went with that. I put a lot of the uh, potted flower pots and stuff like the ones you can actually put plants in and use your gardening skill like these round ones here and I also put this big square one but uh, if you use the big square one as a four plot garden box then you cannot use the two back ones so just keep that in mind I accidentally put uh, the two in the front so now I can't use the back I think it would be better if you planted a tree in that plot I think that should work but yeah other than that everything works and it's really a cute greenhouse I try to fill it with plants as much as possible because I wanted to make it one of those really cluttered greenhouses that sort of looks chaotic. Um, these, these potted plants that I just put down, you cannot use those actually. Actually, I don't know if you can use the front one, but you definitely can't use the back one. I just put them there so that the sunflowers wouldn't look like they were coming out of the ground. I wanted them to be in a pot. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make this really, like, clustered greenhouse, and uh, I was hoping that all of my, all of the little garden boxes you could actually use, and it worked out really well. So, lots of the plants, I put, like, every plant in The Sims, I think, in this garden, uh, this greenhouse, I mean. It's kind of like a garden. Yeah, I use a lot of the, uh, the cats and dogs stuff too because those worked really well with the rustic vibe. I'm kind of loving how all the packs are matching together really well lately. I feel like since we got the parenthood pack things have been pretty consistent in their style which is nice. I like it. They're not like strict to one style but they all kind of match each other which is uh, a relief since we can't change the color of things and I, I often feel like there is a lack of matching items in The Sims like the vintage glamour stuff for instance I just built an apartment with that uh, recently once I got back to my actual desk and I could see properly with the building and I just felt like none of the other furniture matches it so you kind of have to use all the furniture from that pack or you know none of it. It just doesn't work very well. So yeah, I I like the consistencies that we're getting with the builds. Build items, I should say. It's nice. It's working out well. I actually built this little greenhouse specifically for my Legacy family. I It's a really small greenhouse also. I don't think I mentioned that, but I'm building this on like a 20 by 20 lot or something, maybe even smaller. I don't is there a smaller one? Is there a 20 by 10 lot? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, 
anyways, it's a very small lot that I'm building this on, and it fits in the corner. You can kind of see the corner there, so it's really small. You could fit this probably on 90% of the lots as well as your house. I uploaded it as a room, so it's easy to get to like that, and then you can just place it in your build, but I actually built this for my legacy family, so you may see them in the screenshots. I wanted one of them to start the gardening skill, and I figured they could use a cool greenhouse like this because they have so much money now. I don't really need to save it, so I'm just kind of spending extravagantly now with them, and it's fun. Uh, yeah, I already had a toddler with my legacy heir, so... Yeah, you might see her too in the screenshots. Anyway, that's the end of the build, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I post Sims videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye!